Hi lovelies, in this tutorial today, I'm making turn up sleeve you are watching on the screen. Let's get into it. Here is the basic sleeve I'm making use, I mean basic sleeve pattern. I'm making use to cut my pattern out. I have a video on it. I'm going to put the link in the box below for you guys to see. Now let's begin. This is the fabric I'm making use of as you can see. So what I'll just do now is to fold my pattern back and measure the actual length I want for my sleeve. The length I want for my sleeve is 16 inches. I'll just measure it out and fold it. So here is the 16 inches. 16 inches. I'm going to I'm going to pull it out like this. So this is my this is the length of my sleeve now. And I'm going to fold it. So here's the length I'm making for the sleeve. I'm cutting out for the sleeve I'm making today, for the torn up sleeve I'm making today. So let me quickly fold my fabric into two and cut it out. Now I'm done folding my fabric into two as you can see. Placed my pattern on it. I added half inch here all through and here too which is the side same for the sleeve I'm making which is torn up sleeve like I said earlier. But to create that torn up I'm needing two inches, which is the length of my turn up. If you want the length of your turn up to be three inches, it's all well and good. Just add it to the actual length of the sleeve you are making and make sure you had one inch, same allowance to it. But as for me, I'm making use of two inches for the length of my turn up. And I'm going to add extra one inch to it for same allowance. So all together now will be 19 inches from the shoulder here and don't forget to add seam allowance all through the sleeve which is half inch like i did on this one now hope you can see my markings i used my pen to do that because the fabric i'm making use is a little bit stretchy if i if i use my chalk to do that it will not be feasible that is that was why i used my pen to mark out my seam allowance and all the necessary adjustment i made to my pattern to get my sleeve cut out now i'm going to cut it out for you guys to see now i'm done cutting as you can see this is my seam allowances all through and this is the extra inches for my turn up that I'm making today. So I'll go ahead and remove my paper. And here is my sleeve now. For me to cut out my front armhole, you know, this is my front armhole and this is my back armhole. I'm going to open up my sleeve now. Before I open it up, let me notch the center. So I'm going to open it up like this and place my pattern paper on it for me to cut out my armhole properly and make sure you leave that half inch which is your seam allowance all through. So this side is my, let me use the other side for you guys to see. So here is it now. You can use pin to hold it. I'm going to cut out here now. See now. So here is my front arm and here is my back arm. Now that I'm done cutting, I'll go ahead and add my interfacing. I'm going to measure from the down part here. I'm going to measure four inches upward. Since the since the length of my turn up is four is two inches so i'm going to measure four inches upward and add my interface into it so we connect it
So I'm going to add interfacing from here to this place now. So guys, I'm done gumming the interfacing to the place I measured from here to here, which is four inches. And I folded it like this. I measured two inches. This is two inches now. I folded it like this so and iron it out. So after doing that, I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric. This is the right side of my fabric. I'm going to fold it into two like this for me to stitch the side seam from here to here with half inch that I had it for side seam. Now I'm done joining the side seam as you can see. I intentionally used the block thread for you guys to see where I stitch for the sake of this tutorial. So I'll go ahead now and turn it to the right side. So here is it. So I'm going to fold the first line. I'm going to fold it in and make sure you open the seam like this before folding. You can iron it out before doing that. So I'm going to fold it in like this, open the seam and make sure the same align on each other inside here and stitch all around on the tip here i'm going to stitch here i'm starting my stitching from the center here from the seam close all like this i'm going to stitch it all around at the edge here i'm going to stitch it all around leave half inch before stitching so now i'm done stitching the edge as you can see so i'm going to fold it in like this again for me to stitch the second edge so i'll go ahead and stitch the second edge like i stitch the first edge i'm starting from the same side here inner part of it i'm going to stitch it inside like this with half inch all around now i'm done stitching the second edge as you can see after folding it in so here is the first one look at it here is the first one. You just bring it out and the turn up sleeve is ready. Look at it. It's very nice and beautiful. Here is the inside of it. Let me turn it to the wrong side for you to see the inner of it. Here is it on the inside as you can see. Very neat and beautiful. And here is the right side of my sleeve. My turn up sleeve. It's very simple to make and it's very nice and beautiful. Look at it. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to support my channel. If you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing, you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akuredi Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akuredi Adenike. Please show some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akuredi Adenike Sewing Tutorial. Till I see you in my next video guys, stay safe, stay blessed, bye.